Okay, we gotta try this again. We're looking for the blue ghost tunnel for the second time this year. First time ended up in failure. Uh, this time we found the right path, I hope. Uh, and it should be about a 25 minute walk, which I'm not going to video record. This is the rail right here. Uh, gonna be pretty tricky to do this. And we're right now in the thick of it. Yeah, let's. I feel like we should. Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't have to go. Like he would have said, oh, we gotta go down all this bit. Like, you know, like, yeah. Like yeah. So do we go back up there? Yeah, let's go back up. All right. But it's nice down here. It is. I didn't want to have to go all the way down there. And... Yeah. All right. So much for <laughs> uh, hopping, just going down the guardrail. So we're just going back up the guardrail. Not quite the tunnel. Looks like a train bridge. But I think we're getting close to the tunnel. Yeah, especially close to the bridge here. It's a nice old bridge. Something catch your eye, Cliff? Uh, I... Uh, th possibly. Don't feel like testing it, because I remember the last time I tried that. You know, I'm kind of surprised there's not as much graffiti here as I was expecting. Uh, I know, but this is like untouched territory. Let's see. Oh, ugly, yeah, boy. Julia, Coco Loco. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. That one right there, that's hard to make out. You're greasy. Pussy fart. <laughs> yeah, I, I. Julia and Tyler. Anything back here? Doesn't look like anything spectacular. You know, for a bridge of this nature, I was expecting some pretty decent graffiti. Yeah, kind of a letdown. I was expecting a little bit more graffiti here. Graffiti artists, if you're watching this video, you have some uh, untouched ground here. No, but still, I'd like to take a look just in case. Never or Nivek. Kevin for backwards. It's Kevin backwards. Unless the graffiti artist is named Kevin and he spelled his name backwards. Did you say you found a big poop? Oh, okay. That sounded like a big howl. Yeah, that's what I heard earlier. You too? Oh, it's like a siren. It's like a siren. 
Uh, sirens don't generally howl. That's us. Morning. Thank you. Integrated gas recovery. Oh, what that's did you call me? Uh, the sign there. <laughs> okay, looks like I'm gonna be hopping a rail. We might be approaching something on the left hand side of this uh, road. Yeah, that looks like something. The same thing we saw last time. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say it's just uh, the Yeah, you're right, Cliff. It is the same thing we saw last time. And we're gonna walk up going over. Yeah, I remember trying to do that. Let's not speak of that again. <laughs> but I have a feeling we are pretty close. How's it looking down there? Shallow. Yeah, it is pretty shallow. Yeah, so if I remember, he said to turn right. Yeah, and there's like a little road Because over here, it ends when we get there. So, and this place is being monitored so and it's good that it is because you have no idea who's stupid enough to climb up that fence yeah. well yep. uh, there's a trail over here we can go in All right. Okay. This one looks like it might be easier to. Where did those guys come from? Okay. Yeah, I noticed. Well, at least this is the easiest way to get to it. I hope. How do you figure? Because we're going this way. Mm.
I'd say the GPS. A crude map, crude arrow on the road because we're with a couple friends. They're gonna play catch up. Uh, I'm here with Cliff, my friend Cliff. <clears throat> that did not feel good on the ankle. I gotta say, this has to be the most difficult hike I've done in a while. How's the terrain? Theoretically, we could do this. Okay, we initially ended up on top of the tunnel, going the long way. We found another path. Now we're gonna go the way we're supposed to go. And I just gotta follow Cliff very carefully and gingerly. I'll see you in a bit, Cliff. Yep. Well, I finally made it. <sighs> Behind me, as you can clearly see, is the Blue Ghost Tunnel. Not exactly the best view with my mug on the fr this side. Here it is right here. I gotta say, I like the, the selection of paint on the gate. If that counts for anything. Okay, so some of us had a much easier time getting up to this tunnel. You guys ended up going down that trail. Yeah. Me and Cliff, we followed another trail that led us on top of the tunnel. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering, okay, how do we get down? <laughs> and then we doubled back just around the side there. But No. No. Well, it did and it didn't, but we made it here. That's what counts. You figured it out. Oh. You look in there, you can see light through. Yeah, tiny. Yeah, tiny. It's probably just refreshing. <sighs> uh, I bet you felt good after that. <laughs> Let's see. Graffiti's not bad, I gotta say. I'm gonna turn on the light on my other phone. Oh, it is cold and dank in here. And echoey. That sounded awful. Uh, the one thing I'll say is, depending on your shoes, uh, there's a good amount of mud here. But there looks like to be um, some sort of platform thing there. This won't be the first time I've had to clean these skateboard shoes of mine. Vans, if you're paying attention, I like an endorsement for this video. If not, even a thumbs up is fine. Whoa. It is super dark. No, sh yeah. Like, I got my flash on and I can't this shit. I got my flash on with my other phone and I can barely make out anything. Yeah, it is really dark. <clears throat> now, I could go further.
All right, I'm gonna see if I can get some pictures. I'm gonna end the video part here. Gonna leave the tunnel soon. Yeah, like I said, the graffiti's nice, but just difficult to get here. Wow, you've gone a long way, man. Anything good? Huh? Fuck Connor. Connor. Fuck Connor. John Connor.
but it doesn't. I line, think it never lined up 100 for it. Like, I, love it. I think this concludes this excursion. <laughs> as far as this uh, video goes. Uh, you have any plans on going back to the Blue Ghost Tunnel? I don't know, maybe. Now that we know which trail to go to. Yeah, that's pretty nice if you're, it'd be good for tenting. <clears throat> yeah, but um, yeah, flashlight ideal, yeah. proper flashlight. Yeah, like proper, like the I ones that light up. Fantastic for yeah. photos in there. Yeah. Uh, boots, proper <laughs> boots. Uh, some uh, really good heavy duty <coughs> socks. I have those on today. A uh, walking stick. <laughs> yeah, a walking stick would be good. Uh, because it's flooded in there. Yeah, yeah it's all wetlands basically. Yeah. yeah. And I have no idea where your boy went. He'll be back. This is typical Brad. Hey, as long as he doesn't plan to explore all 700 feet of this he tunnel. Well, you can, so. He can drop, and he's gonna have to swim a whole bunch of it underwater. And Brad's not a strong swimmer, so uh, neither am I. Yeah. Whenever Brad's not good at, I promise you, you I'm almost perfect at. I even have some life jackets somewhere that'll help keep you afloat. It's only four feet of water, so it's tiny you pool. Can stand it's up tiny. In it. Like you can buy them at Costco. <laughs> uh, I'll take your word on it. Are you good at floating? I don't know. Oh. I. Can I, may I, Are you are you sensitive about your figure? Yeah. Oh. Um, well, this might make you feel better because buoyancy is a lot easier for bigger people. I know, but still. And it... and I think, just personal experience, that floating is all you need to be comfortable in the water. You don't <sighs> need to know how to swim. It's kind of silly. We're back to where we started. We're just getting back to the car and then we're gonna grab a bite to eat.